Question number six. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Be worth waiting for. Supplementary uh, for, sorry. <laughs> Primary question. Order. Order. <laughs> I'm calling question number six. The Thank right you, Mr. Honourable Speaker. Uh, this question to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by all his statements? Right, right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. Yes. Especially that one when I said yesterday there's no dying in these locks, baby. Supplementary <laughs> <laughs> question. Order. Supplementary question. Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, how come the curtains don't match the carpet? <laughs> and, uh, order. Speaker. If the, if the member managed to hear it, I'll ask. Oh, I take offence that the member is telling New Zealand he's seen my carpet. <laughs> uh, no, I just mean the sideboards. Okay. Okay. Order. Order. I expect the House now to resume to some sort of decorum. Supplementary question. Right on. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, does he stand by a statement in regards to the Sky City Convention Centre when he said it's a day of celebration, actually for Auckland and for New Zealand? End of quotes. Uh, right on, Mr. Prime Minister. Supplementary Prime question. Minister, what is to the celebrate? Right Honourable Winston Peters. What is to celebrate when the Auditor General found Sky City received special treatment and stated that there were quotes inappropriate considerations? End of quotes. And quotes connections between political and business leaders? End of quotes with even Treasury expressing, quote, strong concerns that private benefits to Sky City will exceed public benefits to New Zealanders, end of quotes, now exacerbated by his recent promise. Right, Honourable Mr. Prime Speaker, Minister. Uh, well, the point of celebration is uh, if a convention centre of world-class standards can be built in Auckland uh, without taxpayers putting in any money, then, uh, as I said back then, I think that's a moment of celebration. Right, Honourable Winston Peters. Supplementary question. Does he think it's fair that when the nation's books are in the red, and Sky City has just recorded a 66 million half-year profit, even though it looks like we were they were subsidising the Adelaide development, that it should be taxpayers that have to stump up the cash for the convention centre. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, my preferred position is that Sky City pay, and then that seems to be today that the House is, uh, the opposition members are defeating themselves, having spent two, if not longer, years telling the government how wrong it is that they sought to find a way to fund a convention centre without putting in taxpayers' money. Today they're outraged that there could be any taxpayers' money. They can't have it both ways. Supplementary. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston. Uh, if that's the Prime Minister's new position, what happened to this statement, which read as follows, quote, what the government spends in its budget is not the government's money. It's money the government has taken out of the pay packets of hard-working New Zealanders. It is money that could be used to pay the mortgage, buy kids' shoes or pay the power bill. Guess who said that? And if so, why? Right, Honourable well, Prime Minister. Clearly, a very intelligent and sensible person said that because it's quite correct. And that's the reason why the government's preferred option is it doesn't put any money into the Sky City Convention Centre. Yeah. So, no, no, that's it. Is that all you've got? Order. Order. Question. Order. Question number seven. Catherine Delahunty. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. Tēnā koutou te whare nui. To the Prime Minister, does the, he stand